Hi and welcome back to Eyeball Aeronautics. This is the second half of our video on how to uh, make yourself a power supply for hot wire uh, foam cutters. And um, I'll get right back into it here and um, start to show you actually how I wired it all up. Quickly, how to wire it up. Because you're, if you're like me, you're looking at that bundle of wires and you're thinking I don't want to mess with that but it's actually pretty simple because for the most part you're not going to use any of these wires except for four okay now you can see on here I've got a jumper wire in there and I did that so that I could test this to make sure that it was actually a you know a good power supply because when you're buying stuff used you know you don't know how many miles are on it you don't know if it works or not so I did test this one. I want you to understand how it works and how to do it. So you can see I have two wires pulled up. These are the wires you need to actually fool the power supply into thinking that it's it's in a computer and it needs it needs to turn on. So uh, the green wire and the black wire basically I'm going to cut those and I'm going to wire them to a switch. That's what the jumper wire does, is, is complete the circuit. So I wire these two to a switch. That will be your on and off switch. On the power supplies, a lot of them have a badge that tells you what the different voltages are. And the nice ones have, you know, yellow wire equals 12 volts, 14.5 amps, you know, blue wire is 5 volts or whatever it is um, <clears throat> a lot of them don't actually tell you what the colored wires are but I'm gonna tell you what wires what color wires you want to use <clears throat> in this case the yellow and black is your 12 volts 14 and a half amps your black is common all the black wires in all the bundles are all common so that's your ground wire and so that's all you need all you need is the yellow and black might on um, might could take it out of another set if it's yellow it's it's 12 volts 14 and a half amps so you have the yellow and black that's going to power your speed control Okay, so I need to change my plugs so that this powers that, this controls it, and this one feeds your cutter. Very simple, not a lot of, not a really a lot to it. I'll, I'll have more work into making it look cool in the box than I will have um, into wiring the thing. But that's basically the setup, and so. Um, I'm going to just wire it up now. Okay, so I'll locate my green wire. And cut it. My black wire. Cut it. I'm going to pull these. this bundle couple of plugs to be a purist and solder all of this and it is probably better to do it that way but I came across really good crimpers and this that that would be these and I really think that that is adequate
Okay. That's all we need to turn it on and off. Okay. My yellow and black wires. These two I will solder to a plug that is compatible with this T60 plug right here. Take this opportunity to show you another cute little tool. I like to make my own tools, and this is one that takes about 10 minutes to make. This is a plexiglass picture frame. It doesn't have to be a plexiglass picture frame. It can be a piece of wood. It can be anything that will stand upright with two little clothespins hot glued onto it. Works nice for this job. I'm going to solder my wires on. A little flux. Strip my yellow wire. Okay, I'm going to tint that wire. So, tint it here first. I'm trying to do this. So that the camera can see. I hope I'm doing it right. Well, you guys got a decent view. If you want to fast forward through this, you probably might want to because most of you probably know how to solder. Probably are better at it than I am. Just tinting it. Another dab of flux on there. Okay, so I'm just going to get that hot, a little bit flux so I don't stick my elbow in it. Shrink on there.
that is soldered on. Before I shrink my wires on there, I'm going to test it to make sure that it's actually giving me the 12 volts that I told you it would. So I'm going to check my connections, make sure that I'm getting the voltage that I should. All right, right now I have the switch off and hopefully you can read that amp meter there or volt meter it is right now so there is zero which is good turn the switch on and there's 11.9 volts so that means that everything is working as it should now it's time to kind of wire up the amp meter and package it all in the box. Well, that is how to wire it up and I'll show you the completed project next.